what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and in this video, we're working with the two section staff. Now, this is going to be three techniques that are really core for staff techniques. So, this can be you can practice this with just a long stick, you don't have to have the two section staff with you. But it is important to learn how to control the momentum of that section that uh, you're swinging around. So, you really want to work on this one with a two section staff once you get the hang of it and work on snapping with the staff and really controlling that momentum when you swing it so you have a more powerful strike, okay? So, let's grab your staff and get to work. For this one, I wanna make sure that my thumbs are pointing in the same direction when I grab the staff. They're pointing towards the front of the staff. And then I'm gonna grab as low as I can on the staff, and my other hand is gonna come back to about hips distance apart. This is a long weapon. You have to make sure you use it as a long weapon to have reach. So do not try to choke up on the staff because now it just becomes an awkwardly long nunchuck and then this is gonna be a bit of a hindrance behind you. So you wanna make sure that you have more staff in front of you than behind, okay? Now, our first attack or our first technique, we're gonna do a cat stance and then I'm gonna come upward diagonal, okay? For a regular staff technique, you could use this part of your staff to block, but what I want you to think of doing here is we have two things. You can use this as a strike, so if your opponent is close, you strike with that end of the staff, it can hit the side or even come from behind and hit the opponent. If they try to block it, it'll still bend around and hit them, okay? Or you can use this to use the chain and trap your opponent's weapon. When you do that, just as a quick little side note, a little pro tip and secret, when you try to block and trap with the chain, it's not aiming with the chain. So do not aim past your staff. It's better mentally to aim with the tip of the staff. So you wanna hit with just the metal shackle where you make contact with your opponent's weapon. That allows the chain to wrap around so you can effectively trap their weapon. Timing for disarming is very important too, but you have to develop that through feeling, okay? So, work on that on your own. Let's get back to this technique. So again, upward, okay? Now, I don't want to pull too far back with the staff, and this is a common mistake, is we go back to here, because now I'm totally open. My only defense, unless I'm going to do a big swing, my only defense from here is to try to attack with this end. And if I do that, I bring this dangerously close to me, okay? So keep the staff in front of you, okay? Getting good width to hit your opponent as you do this, okay? So upward diagonal. I bring my foot back and I'm gonna smash downward again, okay? So I come upward and hit, downward and hit. And again, I wanna think that by the time it's at full extension at about my opponent's head level, I wanna make sure that the, the uh, section extends and has its beginning of its whip right there, okay? So when you get really comfortable with this, that's when you wanna have that whip part, okay? Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spear in with the staff. So I'm gonna step towards my opponent, and then I'm gonna spear. I like to say spear on this one because you have the metal shackle right here that has a, sh the, uh, it's not sharp, like a blade, but you have a nice concentrated small end here that you're gonna be attacking with. So think of the difference between attacking somebody with a baseball bat or a hammer. A hammer is more concentrated, okay? So this is like our hammering, this is concentrated tip to poke in and spear our opponent, giving more uh, pain and more power to this technique, okay? So again, we have our upward diagonal hit, a downward hit, and then our forward spear. This is a nice one because you can just practice it back to back. So we have one, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Okay? Learn how to control this. As you can see, even while I'm swinging it, there's moments where it will hit. That doesn't mean it's a lack of technique. But you can't have too wild of a motion to where you're tying yourself up. The last thing that you want is for this chain to bind up on itself. Okay, you want it to bind up on your opponent's weapon and trap their weapon. And of course, at the end, you control it so that you throw a lot of the momentum out. Okay, so work on this one. Add it to some of the other techniques that we've done before, and you can start piecing together your own training form. Okay, if you like this technique, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam.